Do you know what's hard? It's this rock. Oh no, it's not that rock. This cement block. Oh no, not that cement block. It's selling lighters online. I was looking it up, and as it turns out, you need express permission from the government to send flammable liquids. So I'm just gonna bring these to my post office, my local post office. Oops, I saw them. And see, uh, see what we can do about this. Right, uh, so the update here is that, uh, yeah, I can't send the lighters. <laughs> I have to get all sorts of pre-approval. And as I was walking out of the post office, somebody mentioned, well, why don't you just send the that person a version of those lighters that you buy offline, just like, you know, use their address as a shipping address. Oh, I tried, and you know who sells these lighters? Target.com, and you know what they won't do? Ship them to you, because they can't, because they have to get pre-approved by the government, and nobody will do it. So then I was like, what if I just schedule a delivery? Can I just, like, find a Target near this buyer and schedule them a Target delivery so that I can get them these lighters that they purchased from me? Because at this point, I wasn't going to make money, but I wanted them to get their lighters. Oh, but alas, Target deliveries only function at $35 or more. Such a shame for $5 lighters. No, I'll tell you what really is hard. It's these rock- No. It's keeping excited for a project that you've already released some of out to the public. Limited time demo available for survival horror game My Friendly Neighborhood. My Friendly Neighborhood gets a one-week demo. Red XP launches limited time demo for My Friendly Neighborhood. First of all, thank you everybody for so much coverage. Second of all, the demo is not limited time. The demo is still up. Go play the demo if you want to. Yeah, but uh, a lot of people really liked the demo, and that feels weird. Oh, hey, look, this new environment, but what if people don't like it? I'm working on new enemy types. Oh, that really does that. Within the period of, like, a month, your brain has been retrained to view all of this incoming stimulus of, like, positive reinforcement and people liking your game as kind of the norm. And once that naturally declines and you're back towards being in that state where things are unpolished that you're adding into the game, it's a little bit hard not to feel like you aren't living up to the standard that you've already set, even though you haven't even gotten to the point where your content is, like, finished and ready to be, you know, shown to the public. So what do you do? Oh, you just take some time off and do other stuff. I started an eBay business where I am selling all sorts of goods on eBay. Me and my Twitter following got this card rated by the PSA, and now we're doing a fundraiser by uh, auctioning it off. I've been going to the arcade a bit, which... I think I can min-max to make money. I'm gonna do that for a video. And now for all intents and purpose, I'm back. Um, the train has started to chug, 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 as it were. My list is full, I've been getting things done. I actually really only took a week off <laughs> after all that, but uh, it was very helpful. Here is what I have been accomplishing. So first of all, I started adding the rest of the weapons that I want in the game, starting with this grenade. Essentially how this works is you just kind of roll it at an enemy, it'll detonate. You only get a few of these, you can make more out of magazines, at least that's the plan. And these are so much fun to play with, you have no idea. I also started working on a melee weapon. Um, this is going to be what you start with, so it's not really meant to be very good. It's kind of like the knife in Resi 1, if you've ever played that game. Sure, it's got infinite ammo. You can hit every enemy in the game without being hit as well. It's just really hard. And that's kind of the point. One thing that I got some feedback on from the demo is how disappointing it was that there was no weapons in the inventory, that they just kind of appeared in your hands. Good point. I fixed that. Now I've, I've totally redone the inventory. It's way bigger now and you've got room for all of the weapons, which is actually kind of cool. I've got new puppets to show off. This is Goblet. This is going to be the main puppet of, well, I'll, I'll talk about of where in a second. And Goblet's whole deal is that Goblet just kind of runs, and Goblet runs, and Goblet runs, and it is very difficult to stop Goblet running. Um, and if Goblet hits you, you will fall over. Um, here's <laughs> here's a fun thing. You can, you can shoot Goblet over, you can throw a grenade in Goblet's mouth, and Goblet will swallow the grenade. Uh, yeah, I think Goblet's adorable. She's all voice, voice acted, um, have everything in there, just need to lip sync her. That's the, the big thing that's left. Here's a trio of puppets. These are little hand puppets that I'm naming Handy, Randy, and Pig. And, uh, so these are kind of, like, supposed to be, uh, swarm-like 
minions. They only take one damage, um, so you can just kind of hit them with whatever and they'll fall over, but they are very persistent and surprisingly hard to dodge. And uh, you can tie them up with uh, your duct tape, but it won't take any duct tape. As long as you have duct tape, you can tie them up. Cat break! Gotta rate the cat one out of ten. Oh, hi! <laughs> I think this is a ten out of ten cat. What do you think, Almond? Are you a ten out of ten cat? Yes. <laughs> I like the cat. <laughs> so, uh, moving right along, uh, let me show you some of the environment we've been working on. So, let me welcome you to the offices, which is going to be the area right after the basement. What the offices are all about is this is kind of the area where the this um, filming studio would have taken the big wigs, the investors, you know, those sort of people, and kind of showed off to them. And this is also their workspace for editing videos and doing such things. You're going to see a lot of velvety furniture and uh, older looking walls and things like that. And we have gotten the visual style nailed down. We're, we're pretty happy with like the set of materials that we've developed for everything. Um, but, of course, that doesn't mean that everything's done. As you can see, we've got a lot of white boxes and things like that. There's kind of a back area uh, with an elevator shaft in it, and you're going to need to do something here. I'm not going to spoil any puzzles. A partially finished back street entrance. You saw the, the little puppet guys here before. You can get a closer look at them if you'd like. Just a stairwell, nothing much to see here. This is the start to what might be one of my favorite rooms in the game. This is going to be a rec room, and, uh, you know, obviously not finished, you know, there's <laughs> kind of weird looking stuff all around, but there is just so many fun interactive elements that we have planned for this room, uh, one of which is going to be sitting right here, and I cannot wait to tell you guys about it, but I can't yet because that'll spoil things, but it's really cool. Some offices, um, eventually. Obviously, white box. <laughs> you can kind of start to see how things are going to, like, wrap around inside of here. This is going to be an important room. This is the feeder, and then up above is a projection booth. And I'm not going to say more as to why it's important. Just keep this one in mind when you're playing the game. I'm not going to show any more. That's not the entirety of the offices. We've still got a lot of stuff that's being worked on, as you can tell. Some of it's not even really been touched. We're focusing on taking the offices to the same, like, level of polish as the basement is in right now. And then we can kind of put those two together and get a feel for how they interact. And then that will be our springboard for working on the rest of the game. So where are we at? How much longer do we have? little hard to say. There's six areas in the game. This is area number two. But that said, we have the rest of the areas, like, totally mapped out. They're actually quite a bit closer than the offices were when we started working on that. So... We're getting there. It's not going to be a few months. It'll be longer. But we're getting there. Golly, I didn't even talk about all the other stuff that we've been working on. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll save that for next time. And you can wishlist and like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm going to go try to sell not lighters on eBay. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Wishlist link in the description.